this is absolutely one of those days that's just begging for an adventure just go out and explore it's second week of march it's 69 degrees it's sunny just feels awesome we've had like three or four days of no rain and everything is blooming after we had some like bad storms uh can i get under this or i need a Oh. oh yeah, we can fit under it, I think. Oh yeah, well, a little close right there. I think the fish are gonna be active up here. It's a little early in the year still, but I think that we might get some stuff. This is, this is just a beautiful area as I'm going up into the Appalachian Mountains. Gonna fish a crystal clear river. Hopefully it's clear. Hopefully the fish are active. I got a select few lures that I'm going to be using today. The water looks amazing. Feels awesome out here. I can't believe how nice it is. So I'm ready to do some walking and hopefully come across some, some nice fish. Got my backpack loaded up. I got water, gun, wipes, a uh, couple hooks. No lures in here because all I'm taking is, this is the bait school bag from LureNet, like Creek and Tackle Kit. And this is all I'm gonna use. And this is, I'm loving this kit. I haven't used it yet, but it's got all the lures that I already use in there. Spinner baits, yum dingers, got the new yum helgramites. Uh, got a jerk bait, crank bait, and some swim baits. I'm gonna start out trying to cover a little bit of water to try to figure out what's going on. I'm gonna start out with the War Eagle spinner bait. It's a 5 16th. And I'm gonna throw this, I'm taking one rod with me. So this is a medium fast rod. I can handle this, this kind of spinner bait. This is not a real heavy one. And we're gonna add, um, I like to put a little swim bait on there to kind of give it a little bulk. The kit comes with a three inch Yum Scottsboro swim bait and they're perfect for a trailer. There's a good chance we might use this by itself, but we're gonna start throwing a lot of flash. Now the water is super clear. I don't need this, but I, spinner baits work good in clear water especially when I want to cover water to start. Am I going to get hits from different places? Where are the fish at? Are they, how, how aggressive are they? Are they going to, am I going to see anything? So we're going to start out covering some water, spinnerbait. Let's get to it. Well, I really like the way this spinnerbait works and it's easy to cast and retrieve. But I haven't seen a follow, I haven't had a hit, and I haven't even seen a bass yet, so I think they're deeper. They're in here, they're in these holes. This is a big deep hole. Like there's gotta be fish in here. They must be down, down at the bottom more. Let's try something different. Uh oh, there we go. Oh, it's a good fish. Finally, we got one. Oh yes, stay on there, stay on there, stay on there. Finally, finally, finally. I really wasn't sure if it's gonna happen today. Let's get down here to it, if I can. Oh, we got one. Come on over here, buddy. 
Nice one. Oh, oh man. Oh. All right, let's get him over here. Oh, yes. That's what we're looking for. That's better than what we're looking for. Dude, that's a good fish right there. Look at that. That's a good, probably 17 inch. It's an Alabama bass. Where we, you can call them spotted bass, but it's the Alabama one. Caught it on a yum dinger. Um, I'll show you what I did in just a second, but that's just a gorgeous fish right there. Nice, healthy. 16, 17 inch right there. Man, there it is. I, I thought I would have to work for it. I didn't think I'd have to work that long. Hour and a half, which is not a terrible amount of time, but I fished several good deep holes. I started with the spinnerbait. I fished with the Helgramite and nothing. I just switched to the, it's a five inch June bug, uh, red flake uh, yum dinger. So it's a little heavier and maybe it's a little bigger profile. I don't know, but I, there's this deep hole here and I just, I've, I've probably been using it for 10 minutes I'm drifting it down in that deep hole and I felt a thump. I never, my line just, just like thumped and I just set the hook on it. Really good, at least a two pounder, um, good, healthy Alabama bass. It gives me some confidence. I wasn't sure what to do. I was like thinking at two hours, if I hadn't caught it, I'll go back, but I might not get another one, but the, the yum dinger got it done. So I'm, I'm still gonna switch through a few different lures. I just think they're down in these deep pockets and um because i'm not seeing anything else so let's let's really work on these deep holes and fish them oh there he is there he is Dude, that's a decent looking fish right there oh 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 come here come here come here oh i got one looking at it oh eat it i got i got a nice Spotted bass, just looking at it. Where'd he come from? Oh, there's a bunch of them. There's those fish. They're not coming out to eat it though. All right, here's another big deep pool. This one's got more current, but I've caught fish out of here before. Almost all these holes I've, I've caught fish out of at some point. Just don't know where those Hungry ones are at. Right now we still only got one bite, but I did see some up that last hole. Maybe they're starting to get a little more active today. Oh, oh, eat it. Oh, I had a, I had a little Kusa bass hit at it. That's the second time I've seen a smaller one. Let's try something here. Let's just cut this yum dinger in half. Ned rig now. Oh, oh, I see something. There he is. Yes. 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 Oh man, that's a nice one. This. Dude, this it's a giant. I gotta show you this fish. They look small, but it's a monster. I saw this fish come chasing it up. This is a really pretty Kusa bass or red eye Kusa bass. This color's already fading a little bit, but it's got some gorgeous colors on him. That's a good size one too. That's um nine inches, ten, probably ten inches long, ten inch and just healthy as can be. These are, that's a really good fish. It's, and if these are getting active, then that usually means um, everything's getting active. These kind of take a little longer to get active up here, I've noticed. So this guy came up and hammered it. I think it's getting later in the day. I think this, uh, they're just getting warmed up from the water. So I've seen a couple follow. Now I've got finally got my Kusa bass. So I got my Alabama bass and then the Kusa bass. Fish number two, hope I get a few more of those. I watched him come out. There's like sand on this area. And he like shot out of that deep 
area and hit my lure. Oh, 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 another cruiser bass just followed it up. There he is, there he is. Got it. I just happened to see it. I was reeling it in. Oh man, it's another nice one. These guys are beautiful. Look at the colors. Yeah, I think the fish are just getting a little more active for sure. All right, I've been fishing for just at two hours. Not a long time. I've covered a lot of water and the last 30 minutes I've, has been when I've caught my fish. I caught three fish in the last 30 minutes and I've watched those Kusa bass, two of them, chase my bait out of like a little pocket. And that's the first time I've seen anything chase something. Oh, fish on. I got one on the crankbait. All right, well, the crankbait did work. I don't use these a lot, hard baits like this up here. It's another Cusa Pass too. I thought the spots would be more active. I wouldn't, wouldn't think I'd get three Cusa Bass to one spot. All right, well, that's, it's good to see them hitting that. Oh, 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 fish on. Oh, fish off. I didn't know he was on there. Oh, oh, there's one out there. Oh, eat it. <laughs> oh, no, it got wrapped in around a tree. How did it get wrapped around that tree? Ah, there we go. The water kind of changed. I went back to the Helgramite to drift it in the current and I had one came off and I had another hit finally landed one where are the spots at I don't know why the spots are not showing up today look at the difference of colors is in that one there we go oh ooh, ooh. what we got here Oh, another, another uh, Kusa. Well, I n really didn't expect these Kusa bass to be eating like this. Came back up to some of the holes that I fished earlier and drifting through. This time I got one. Dude, there's a lot of different fish right here. None of them are going after anything. Maybe they're eating at the front of the pool. That's probably what it is. Like they're sitting back here. Cause I've seen, this is where they sit in the summertime. They'll sit back here and you just can't get them to bite. Oh, we're really gonna change it up. We're gonna go with the rattling rogue. I'm gonna like try to jerk this thing, swim it through there. See if it's something that, maybe it's like, that makes a difference when they gotta hit it. That's not the big one. Where's that bigger one go? Oh, there he is. Bunch of the little ones. That's, that, that may be the one I caught earlier. I don't know. They're just a bunch of smaller ones hanging out at this pool right here. Oh, that's a fish. Huh. Got another. 
It is another cruiser bass. Where are all the spots at? That's all right. I'll take these guys. This is a average size to them. tired i gotta get back in this hiking shape where um you know i don't you know i probably only went two to three miles down the stream but it's going in and out of the like creek bank river bank and then walking back i'm um, a little bit wore out probably spent four and a half hours up here a lot of hiking you know so good day didn't catch a ton of fish like i was you know maybe i was like thinking maybe i can get some of those some of those good spots but that one spot i got was a really nice one the Alabama bass and then the Coosa bass. I, I got way more of those than I thought. I got like, I think four or five at least, maybe six of those. So they were hitting a little aggressively. There's a lot of different type of streams around me. And then like the lakes, they get, you know, a lot warmer, a lot faster than these mountain streams. And some, some of the rivers getting and creeks get warmer faster than some of these different kind of streams. But it, I got in the water a little bit, it was pretty cold. Those fish still haven't gotten super aggressive, but it was a good day out here. It's so beautiful. I always love coming up here just to take in the scenery. It's really peaceful, not a lot of people around. Um, here pretty soon, all the leaves will be back on the trees and it'll get a lot hotter. So I was enjoying this kind of a cool day, still able to get out here and catch some fish. Thanks for watching.